What is up everybody, it's Animac here for Anime Uproar and welcome to another My Hero Academia video. Thank you so much for your support on our Every Quirk Explained Class 1A and on our Every Villain Explained videos. During the Every Villain video I asked which My Hero Academia video you want to see next and while I was hoping for something simple like Minoru Mineta Explained, so many of you wanted to see a video about all the pro heroes. Well you asked for it and so in this video we will talk about all of the known pro heroes in My Hero Academia. The strongest heroes, the coolest heroes, the top ranked heroes, and of course Midnight, the 18 plus only hero, she's in here too. And while we know more about some of the heroes than we know about others, I hope that having them all here in one place will be helpful to you. And now if you are ready to go, be sure to 100% Detroit smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more My Hero Academia videos. In the world of My Hero Academia, professional heroes are people who use their unique abilities known as quirks to help other people and to preserve order. The most successful and effective heroes get paid by the government to perform their heroic deeds. And this is what makes them pros. Starting things off with the very first heroes that we see in action in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga, we have Kamui Woods and Mount Lady. Kamui's real name is Shinji Nishia, but we have no idea what he really looks like because we've never seen him outside of his wood-inspired hero costume. His quirk is referred to as Lumber or the Lumber Quirk, its type is emitter and it works at long range. This quirk enables Kamui to produce tree roots from his body and to use them as weapons against his opponents. He can use his quirk to create a special attack known as Lacquered Chains Prison, which traps opponents inside a makeshift wooden cage. It can be a very effective technique for heroes as it allows Kamui to confine multiple opponents at once and he uses it on several members of the League of Villains during the hideout raid arc in the manga. Due to the wood-based nature of his quirk, his power is not effective against fire-based quirks. Then we have Mount Lady. Her real name is Yu Takeyama and we first meet her as she jumps in to take down a villain with a flying kick just as Kamui is preparing to use Lacquered Chain's prison to stop him. She is a young hero and she enjoys the spotlight, not shying away from using her reputation as a hero to sell sponsored products, but she also demonstrates genuine bravery and selflessness in important moments. Her quirk is gigantification, its type is transformation and it works at close range. Mount Lady's regular height is 162 centimeters or 5 feet 4 inches, but her quirk allows her to suddenly grow to a height of 2062 centimeters or nearly 68 feet. Some may not realize that Mount Lady cannot control how big she gets. She can either be at her normal height or at her max height, but nothing in between. Because of this, she is unable to make effective use of her quirk unless she is out in the open, so cramped or confined spaces limit the effectiveness of her quirk. Next is Recovery Girl. Her real name is Chiyo Shuzanji, and believe it or not, she is known as youthful heroine Recovery Girl. She is a nurse at the UA and she uses her power to quickly heal the students whenever they get injured during training. The name of her quirk is Recovery, its type is Transformation and it works at close range. Recovery Girl is able to boost and speed up the natural healing process of an individual by essentially kissing their boo-boo. The quirk Recovery heals instantly or very quickly injuries that might otherwise take months to heal. However, the quirk does drain the energy and stamina of the person being healed. So Recovery Girl cannot heal too many injuries too quickly or else the patient will be in danger of exhaustion. A hero clearly better suited to play a supporting rather than offensive role, she scores only a 1 out of 5 for both power and speed, but her technique and intelligence stats are outstanding at 5 out of 5 according to the official My Hero Academia character book. Then we have Gran Torino, a retired pro hero, he is roughly in the same age bracket as Recovery Girl. Gran Torino used to be All Might's homeroom teacher at UA during his student days, and All Might has a great respect for and is actually very intimidated by his former teacher. The name of his quirk is Jet, its type is Mutant, and it works at close range. Gran Torino's quirk enables him to jump around with incredible speed as a result of air propulsion boosters that are located on the soles of his feet. The height to which he can jump is limited because he can only propel himself using the air that he can breathe in, 
and his old age also limits the frequency and extent to which he can use his quirk. Gran Torino's quirk gives him immense speed and strength. The momentum of his quick movements increase the power of his physical attacks, and he is shown to still be capable of taking out multiple villains on his own, even at his age. His speed stats are off the charts at 6 out of 5, and he also scores a 5 out of 5 for technique. Next is Nana Shimura. A friend of Gran Torino and All Might's former mentor, Nana Shimura was the seventh user of the transferable quirk known as One For All. She was known for her commitment to justice and for always doing her best to help others with a smile on her face. But sadly, sometime after transferring her quirk onto All Might, she was murdered by the mastermind behind the League of Villains. Quirk One For All gave her superhuman strength, speed, agility and reflexes, but I will talk more about One For All when we get to All Might himself. Along with One For All, Nana Shimura is believed to have possessed a second quirk, but we do not know what type of quirk it was. Then we have Lunch Rush or Ranchi Rushu, one of the unsung heroes of My Hero Academia. The cooking hero Ranchu Rushu or Lunch Rush is a pro hero and the official cook at UA. He wears a hero costume that is clearly inspired by his status as a chef. We can only assume that his quirk is related to preparing delicious food quickly and efficiently for the students of UA. Up next is 13. The Space Hero 13 wears a hero costume that resembles a spacesuit, and he was the one who created the training facility known as the Unforeseen Simulation Joint, where the students of UA can practice emergency rescue maneuvers. He is committed to his duties as a pro hero, and he has a firm belief that quirks should be used to help others. The name of his quirk is Black Hole, its type is Emitter, and it works at medium range. His quirk enables 13 to generate small black holes that can suck in and then disintegrate matter and light on an atomic level. Although his quirk can potentially become incredibly deadly if used against people, 13 uses it primarily for removing hazardous debris during rescue missions. He scores an impressive 5 out of 5 in cooperativeness. Then we have Ingenium. The older brother of Class 1A President Tenya Ida and the man Tenya always looks up to, his real name is Tensei Ida. The name of his quirk is unknown, but it is very similar to Tenya's quirk called Engine, so we could assume that it might be called the same, or perhaps his quirk is called Turbo, since Ingenium is also known as the Turbo Hero. The quirk's type is Mutant and it works at close range. In the same way that Tenya has engines on his legs, Ingenium has these types of engines on his elbows. He uses the engines to move around at great speed and also to deliver powerful offensive attacks. Because he doesn't have brakes on his engines, Ingenium has to be careful so as not to run into a wall or other hard object while using his quirk. Next is Uwabami. Known as the Snake Hero, Uwabami has three different species of snake growing out of her hair. She is a popular hero who is dedicated to her work, and when Momo and Itsuka come to her for their field training, the three of them appear in a commercial together. The name of her quirk is Snake Hair, the type is mutant, and it works at medium range. Uwabami can use the exceptional senses and natural instincts of the snake living in her hair to locate people, including victims stranded after an incident or potential enemies. She scores a 1 out of 5 in power and 2 out of 5 in speed, but a stellar 5 out of 5 in technique. Uwabami shares the same name and appearance as a character in Kohei Hotikoshi's earlier manga series Omagadoki Zoo. Next is a hero called Power Loader. His real name is Higari Maijima. He is a UA teacher and he is known as the excavation hero Power Loader. His hero costume consists of a steel helmet and a number of other metallic objects that cover his body. He is in charge of creating the hero costumes at UA and he is able to maintain and upgrade existing costumes with great expertise. What we know of his abilities is that he possesses metallic claws that he can use to dig underground and that he is extremely powerful. He scores an impressive 5 out of 5 in power. Next we have Eraserhead. His real name is Shota Aizawa and he is the strict but fair homeroom teacher for class 1A at UA. The name of his quirk is Erasure, its type is Emitter and it works at long range. His quirk gives Eraserhead the power to cancel out the quirks of others by looking at them. Now obviously this is an extremely useful ability to have in battle, but its limitations are that it can only be used on one opponent at a time and Eraserhead cannot blink while using it 
which results in his eyes becoming dry and worn out. Also, because mutant type quirks are a permanent part of their user's body, the erasure quirk does not work on them. It only works on transformation and emitter type quirks. Eraser head scores an off the chart 6 out of 5 in technique, and he is also known for his intelligence and strong hand to hand combat skills. Up next, we have Tiger. Tiger is a member of the Pussycats, a pro hero team specializing in mountain rescue. He is strict and tough and he believes that everyone including the young UA students must undergo rigorous training in order to become real heroes. The name of his quirk is Playa Body or literally Pliable Body, its type is transformation and it works at close range. As a result of his quirk, Tiger can stretch his body in impossible ways which allows him to get through extremely narrow and cramped spots and this comes in handy with the rescue missions that he is involved with. His body might be pliable but this does not mean that he is soft. Tiger actually scores a 5 out of 5 in power according to the character book. Then we have Mandalay. Her real name is Shino Sosaki and she is another member of the cat themed hero team known as the Pussycats. The name of her quirk is Telepath. Its type is emitter and it works at long range. Her quirk enables Mandalay to communicate with several people at one time through telepathy. But since the other people she is communicating with are not telepaths, they are able to receive information from her but they cannot respond and so the communication goes only one way. She scores a 5 out of 5 in cooperativeness and this makes sense since her quirk is well suited for a team player. After that we have Pixie Bob. She is the third member of the Pussycats and her real name is Ryuko Tuchikawa. She is an energetic and attractive woman but due to the fact that she is 31 years old and still not married, she is known to be actively looking for a male suitor and she is not above flirting with UA students like Deku and Todoroki. The name of her quirk is Earthflow, its type is emitter and it works at long range. Her quirk enables Pixie Bob to control and reshape the earth around her and use it as both a tool and a weapon in combat. The final member of the Pussycats is Ragdoll. Her real name is Tomoko Shiretoko and she is known for being extremely energetic and she was also once ranked as the number 32 pro hero. The name of her quirk is Search, its type is Emitter and it is target based. With the help of her quirk, Ragdoll was able to conduct surveillance on up to 100 people at a time, including their location and potential weaknesses. However, she became the first person that was shown to have her quirk stolen from her by a villain and this left her quirkless. Another known hero team in the series is Water Horse. A husband and wife pro hero team with water type quirks, they were killed in action while trying to protect innocent civilians from a villain known as Muscular. Although they lost their lives, they managed to save the civilians by injuring Muscular to the point that he was unable to continue his attack. And of course if you want to learn more about Muscular and the villains, check out our every villain video, link in the description. Next up is Crimson Riot. Crimson Riot is the pro hero that Kirishima from class 1A is directly inspired by and he pays tribute to his hero by choosing a similar hero name for himself. And of course the name that Kirishima ultimately chooses is Red Riot. Crimson Riot is known as a manly hero with a strong reputation as we see what Midnight calls him that man among heroes Crimson Riot. We don't know much about him other than the fact that he greatly inspired Kirishima and this could lead us to speculate that perhaps his quirk was similar to Kirishima's hardening quirk in some way but we cannot be sure. Then we have Buster Hero. We know very little about the Buster Hero other than the fact that he has a jetpack and that Deku knows about him and is a fan of his work. We also know that Mei Hatsume from class 1H was inspired by Buster Hero when she created some of her gadgets, but we don't know if the jetpack that he wears is somehow connected to his quirk, as is the case with the propulsion boots used by Gran Torino, or if he simply created the jetpack using modern technology. Next we have Gang Orca. Real name Kugo Sakamata, his quirk makes him a cross between a man and an orca whale. He is ranked as the number 10 pro hero. The name of his quirk is Killer Whale, its type is mutant and it works at close range. As a result of his quirk, Gang Orca can use the powers of a killer whale even on shore. He is large, strong, an excellent swimmer and he can produce a sound wave that paralyzes his opponents. His weakness is that being part marine mammal makes him prone to dehydration when he is not in water, 
so he always carries water with him in case he needs to pour it on himself to prevent dehydration. Just like Ubawami, he is based on a character called Sakamata from Kohei Hotikoshi's earlier manga series called Omagadoki Zoo, where zoo animals can take humanoid form. After that we have Gunhead. The battle hero Gunhead is a pro hero who specializes in armed combat. Uraraka chooses to join his agency and to train under him during the field training arc. His quirk is called Gatlin, its type is mutant, and it works at medium range. Gunhead has guns protruding out of his arms, and these guns are able to shoot sharp materials made out of the protein keratin. His quirk is effective in close and medium range combat, and he scores a 5 out of 5 in power. And next up is Midnight. Everyone's favorite dominatrix, Nemuri Kayama is better known by her alias, the 18 plus only hero, Midnight. She is a pro hero who works at the UA, and we can only assume that she is very effective in disciplining the students since she is always carrying around a whip with her. The name of her quirk is Somnambulist, its type is emitter, and it works at medium range. The word Somnambulist is actually the technical term for a sleepwalker, and this makes sense because Midnight's quirk gives her the ability to project a scent from her body that puts her opponents to sleep. Unsurprisingly, Midnight's charms are more effective on men than on women, and she scores a 5 out of 5 in technique, although what kind of technique we are talking about here is anyone's guess. Then we have Hound Dog. Real name Ryo Inui, the pro hero Hound Dog is the guidance counselor at UA. His appearance resembles a dog and he has been known to growl like a dog when mad. The name of his quirk is Dog. Its type is most likely mutant and it works at close range. We have no specific information about how his quirk actually works, but we can assume that similar to Tsuyu Asui's frog form, Hound Dog is able to use the special abilities that dogs have, such as speed, agility, and a strong sense of smell and hearing. Next is Native, a pro hero whose name and appearance is clearly inspired by Native American culture. Native is shown to be brave, selfless, and willing to sacrifice himself to save UA students during a battle against hero killer Stain. Unfortunately, we have no information about his quirk or the specific extent of his power, but we do know that on his own he was no match for Hero Killer Stain. Next up is Death Goro, a large man with a muscular build, he is sometimes referred to as the Punching Hero. The name of his quirk is unknown, but we know it gives him superhuman strength, and he scores a 5 out of 5 in power. His weakness is that his quirk is completely based around physical power. So with villains such as the sludge villain from the first episode of the anime and the first chapter of the manga, Death Goro is essentially powerless. His name is a reference to a Japanese word that means fighting barehanded. And after that we have Cementos. Real name Ken Ishiyama, Cementos is another teacher at UA. Like his name suggests, his body appears to be made out of cement, and cement is also the name of his quirk, its type is emitter, and it works on contact. As a result of his quirk, Cementos is able to control anything that is made out of cement in his immediate vicinity, and this can be a powerful weapon in a city, but his quirk would be useless to him in areas where there is no cement, such as in a forest. Although his cement-based quirk might make us think otherwise, Cementos scores only a 3 out of 5 in power, but he scores an impressive 5 out of 5 in both intelligence and technique. Next up is Backdraft. Backdraft is a firefighter and a pro hero who focuses on rescue operations. He carries a water tank on his back and he can shoot water out of a cannon on his shoulder. The name of his quirk is Hydrokinesis, its type is emitter and it works at medium range. His quirk enables Backdraft to shoot out water and to manipulate it into different shapes, which comes in handy in an emergency situation. The name of his quirk is likely a reference to Telekinesis, Except instead of being able to bend spoons with his mind, Backdraft is able to control and manipulate water. Next we have Snipe. Another UA teacher and pro hero, Snipe's appearance and mannerisms resemble a cowboy. He is an expert marksman and possesses exceptional aim. The name of his quirk is Homing and its type is Emitter. His quirk appears to enable Snipe to actually control the direction of bullets even after he fires them, and we can assume the quirk works for both short and long range. As a result of his quirk, Snipe scores an off the chart 6 out of 5 in technique. Then we have Present Mike. Real name Hisashi Yamada, present Mike is a UA English teacher and a pro hero. 
he is loud and eccentric and he was the one who gave Eraserhead his hero name back when they attended school together. The name of his quirk is voice, its type is emitter and it works at long range. Befitting of his loud personality, present Mike's quirk enables him to create incredibly loud and high pitched sounds with his voice. This quirk can be very effective offensively because it can literally make an opponent's ears bleed, but the quirk is less effective in places where sound doesn't travel well such as in sealed off areas. Present Mike wears a special speaker system around his neck which lets him direct the quirk whichever way he wants it to go. He has impressive stats overall and he scores a 5 out of 5 in both intelligence and cooperativeness. Then we have Nezu, a pro hero and the UA principal. Animals developing quirks is said to be incredibly rare in the world of My Hero Academia, but Nezu appears to be an animal who became intelligent as a result of his quirk and now lives alongside humans as an equal. The name of his quirk is high spec and its type is mutant. As a result of his quirk, Nezu, an animal, developed intelligence that is even greater than the intelligence of humans. He is capable of speaking and thinking critically and strategically without a problem and he scores a 5 out of 5 in technique and an off the chart 6 out of 5 in intelligence. Next is Ectoplasm. A dedicated UA teacher and pro hero, he is well respected by his peers and the general public. The name of his quirk is Clone, its type is Emitter and it works at long range. This quirk enables him to eject an ectoplasmic material out of his mouth that can turn into multiple clones of himself. He is able to create up to 30 or more clones at a time and he can also create one huge clone that can trap an opponent inside its body by devouring them with its giant mouth. Because of the many strategic possibilities that his quirk provides, Ectoplasm scores a 5 out of 5 in technique. Then we have Manual. Real name Masaki Mizushima, Manual is also known by the amazingly ordinary name, the Normal Hero. As that name suggests, he has an ordinary personality and appears to be a kind person overall. During the field training arc, Tenya Ida chooses to work at Manuel's office. Manuel has a water-based quirk that allows him to collect water around his hands, and he is so normal or average that he scores a 3 out of 5 in literally all categories. And next up is Blood King, real name Sekijiru Khan. Blood King is the homeroom teacher for class 1B at UA. He is known for encouraging his students to do their best and to not get outshined by class 1A, but he never takes this beyond the realm of friendly rivalry. The name of his quirk is Blood Manipulation, its type is Emitter and it works at close range. As a result of his quirk, Blood King is able to manipulate his own blood and use it in battle. He can shoot his own blood out of his glove and harden it in order to restrain opponents and he can then bring the blood back into his body once he no longer needs to use it. He also possesses exceptional physical strength and speed. And now for the top ranked heroes. The number 5 pro hero Shinya Kamihara or Edshot has the appearance of a ninja. The name of his quirk is Fold a Body, its type is Transformation and it works at close range. His quirk enables Edshot to fold and stretch his body, which give him great stealth and agility. This quirk is similar to Tiger's Playa Body quirk in nature, except Edshot is able to transform his body faster than the speed of sound, which makes him much faster than Tiger. Edshot is even able to twist and turn his own elastic body into a sharp weapon. The number 4 ranked pro hero's real name is Tsunagu Hakamoto, but he is better known by the alias Best Genus. He was the winner of the Best Genus award for 8 years in a row, which is where he got his hero name. Believe it or not, the Best Genist Award is 100% real and it is given to celebrities who look the best in jeans. It is actually one of the most prestigious fashion awards in Japan. It is important to mention that on top of being a fashion icon, he is also a very strong and brave pro hero. The name of his quirk is Fiber Master, its type is Emitter and it works at medium range. This quirk enables Best Genus to manipulate textile materials. He can use strings of fabric from clothing as weapons both offensive and defensive and he can also use fabric to restrain and immobilize opponents. He scores a 5 out of 5 in technique and is known as a fiercely tough fighter. The father of Shoto Todoroki from class 1A, 
Enji Todoroki or the Flame Hero Endeavor is the number two ranked pro hero. Even though he is an extremely successful hero and has a higher rate of resolved cases than any other hero, he is also vain and jealous of All Might for ranking higher than him. Endeavor is notorious for mistreating his wife and children, all in the pursuit of somehow surpassing All Might. The name of his quirk is Hell Flame, its type is Emitter, and it works at medium range. As a result of his quirk, Endeavor is able to generate and manipulate flames, which makes for a powerful weapon against all potential opponents. The quirk can be deactivated if Endeavor wishes it to be, but he is almost always seen with flames around his body, which speaks to his vanity and the desire to stand out at all times. He is a stacked hero overall and he scores a 5 out of 5 in power, speed and technique, with a 4 out of 5 in intelligence, but only a 2 out of 5 in cooperativeness. And finally, we come to the number one ranked hero, at least at the beginning of the series, All Might. All Might's real name is Toshinori Yagi, and along with being the number one ranked pro hero, he is also a teacher at UA. He is also known as the symbol of peace, and those who want to destroy the current society, such as members of the League of Villains, are especially interested in killing All Might because they believe that the current society and its values would die along with him. He actually has two forms. His hero form is extremely muscular and reminiscent of western superheroes like Superman. On the other hand, in his actual form he is an extremely skinny and frail looking individual. The name of his quirk is One For All, its type is Emitter, and it works at close range. One For All is a very interesting quirk because it combines two separate quirks, a quirk that stockpiles power and a quirk that allows quirks to be transferred from one person to another. All Might has superhuman strength, reflexes, stamina, agility and speed. Once the quirk is transferred from one person to another, the one who transfers it can still make use of some leftover embers of the quirk, which is why All Might is still able to use his power even after transferring one for all onto Deku. However, these embers will eventually run out. All Might was the 8th user of the One For All quirk and Deku is the 9th and current user. The true workings of One For All are still a mystery, such as in the situation where Deku was able to break through the control of Hitoshi Shinzo's quirk during the tournament arc. It appears that the previous users of One For All were somehow able to awaken inside Deku and bring him back to his senses. All Might has multiple attack techniques which are named after states and cities in the US, like Detroit Smash, Texas Smash and Missouri Smash. According to All Might, to activate one for all, the user must clench their buttocks and scream SMASH within their heart. All Might scores an unbelievable 6 out of 5 in all categories including power, speed, technique, intelligence and cooperativeness. And that is it guys, all the pro heroes in My Hero Academia explained. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that having all of these heroes in one place will be useful to you. If you did enjoy it, be sure to 100% Detroit smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because there are more My Hero Academia videos on the way. I want to give a quick thank you to Soul Maka for helping me out, as well as my brother Gozen, the other half of this channel, of course. And wow, after working so long on this video, I feel like I've been at it all night. So if you made it this far, do me a favor and comment down below, all might, all night. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see ya, space cowboys.